everyone um can you hear me okay um <clears throat> welcome thanks for joining me again uh, <clears throat> excuse me uh so today we're going to do another right with me and if this is your first time joining um basically you get your pen your paper and we're gonna get we're gonna write um, answers to a few questions I'm gonna ask you in your best cursive <clears throat> so you you write your answers whatever they may be three times in cursive and I'll write it with you um, so I'm gonna just get ready for a while uh, so if you guys could write your names and tell me where you're from in the chat and we'll we'll get started real quick okay <clears throat> okay so yes um Today I'll be writing with a Pilot 912, a Pilot Custom 912 pen. It's been modified by John Modishaw, so it's a little thinner than normal. <clears throat> and the topic today is quarantine life, <laughs> because uh, you know everyone's, you know, hopefully indoors in a lockdown. Um, I think we are all together in a very interesting situation, so it would be nice to, uh, you know, get our mind off bad stuff and just write things down and and hopefully uh, for the next hour or so we'll be together and um, spend some time uh, unraveling our thoughts. Okay, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, so I'm going to be writing in my journal. Uh, I don't know who makes this, but I found this in um, Barnes & Noble. So what, the questions I'm going to ask today is based on quarantine life. It's not going to be about the virus because that's, I don't want to talk about that. But we're going to talk about what life is for us right now. And I thought it would be interesting to write it in my journal because a few years from now it's going to be fun to read back about um, life right now right so let's get started again if you're if you're joining us please grab paper pen and some um, anything you want to write with and the first question is as always what is your name? <sighs> and where are you right now? And as always, if you want, you guys can always um, let me know your answers in the chat box. We always have like really nice people, you know, chatting around in the in the in the chat, and it's fun to see what other people's answers are. Okay, mm third question. 
how long have you been in lockdown? <laughs> now, of course, uh, not everyone is privileged to be indoors right now, but if, if you uh, can answer that, maybe how long has it been since you're supposed to be at home? Oh shoot, four weeks. I was gonna write three weeks, but <clears throat> four weeks. Mm. Where are you staying right now? Are you staying in a house? Are you staying in an apartment? Um, maybe you're on a cruise ship. <laughs> I hope you're not in a cruise ship. <laughs> I'm in a house right now. Okay. Um, who is with you where you are? And if you want, maybe you could write out the names of these people. It could be your family. It could be roommates or housemates. Or it could just be yourself, you know. I'm going to write the names of my pets because I consider them my peoples. <laughs> Oh, we have a Malaysian in the house. We have Filipinos. We have Sydney, somebody, or Greg's from Toronto. Uh, that's nice. So many people are here. And I hope everyone's staying safe, staying indoors. doing during this thing I guess are you a student are you studying are you working from home are you looking for work or maybe you're just chilling just or um, maybe you're a stay-at-home mom or dad just to get just to get to know what you've been doing don't forget to write your answers three times that way we really get our hands going you know our fingers moving Repetition is how you learn, right? Okay. Mm. All right, so this virus has been around for like a couple months, but I know all of us have had uh, plans disrupted or cancelled even. So what, what plan did you make that was cancelled due to this virus? Hmm. It doesn't have to be fancy, it doesn't have to be like a trip to Europe, but it could be like, maybe you were just planning to visit your friend, or maybe you had a, a thing, or maybe graduations cancelled or something. What was that big disruption?
What was the last place you visited? It could be a grocery store, it could be a restaurant, but what was the last place that you stepped outside of your house for? I had to go to Best Buy, it's an electronic store, a couple days ago. I didn't want to, but my dog ate one of my earbuds. And I couldn't wait for Amazon to deliver it. It was scary going on again. <laughs> okay. Who was the last person that you talked to? It could be in person or some other way. Who was it? I was talking to my friend Bethany. Hey Russell, I'm using a Pilot Custom 912. It's been modified by John Morishaw. Um, I'm using my old journal from uh, Barnes & Noble. So if any of you just started, we are writing down answers to some questions. So write with me. How did you talk to this person? The last person you talked to? Did you talk to them in person? Did you use Zoom? Did you use Skype? Did you use a group message? Did you use uh, Face? You know, uh, Facebook or did you call them or if you're a really cool person did you send them a letter <laughs> hmm. okay so Everyone's, you know, isolated and it's it kind of sucks. But what way are you connecting with people? Which social media are you using? Are you just, you know, talking to people over your phone? A group text maybe? Facebook is a big one. Uh, maybe you're using YouTube. I mean, we're using YouTube right now. Or Discord maybe? Maybe Instagram? I use a lot of Instagram. And if you are on Instagram, you can follow me. <laughs> Sorry, can't resist. On Open Instant. Um, okay, next question. Now, there's only one correct answer to this question, so you guys better get it right. How long are you supposed to wash your hands? Hmm. Twenty seconds recommended by the CDC for you and me to wash our hands for twenty seconds. With soap and water. What have you been doing this past week? I know it's been a while, but what have you been um, spending your time doing? Working? Cleaning? Maybe caring for somebody? Playing video games? That's cool, you know, it could be anything. I can, I can see your answers, so I'm not gonna judge.
remember to write your answers three times, okay? Okay. You know, what we are currently doing doesn't mean it's what we want to do. So if you could choose one thing, what would you want to do all day? If you could do anything. If you didn't have school, you didn't have work, what would you want to do? I would play video games all day. Charles would do calligraphy all day. That's a good answer. <laughs> okay, so now I want you all to think about where you are. Your house, your apartment, your cruise ship. <laughs> What's one thing that needs to be done? Maybe you need to clean up the laundry. Maybe you need to fold the laundry. Maybe you need to clean up the garage. Maybe you gotta paint a room. Maybe you gotta just tidy up a few things. Hmm. I gotta change my air filters. Alright, so all of us have been indoors for a pretty long time. What appliance do you feel that you gotta start um, changing out pretty soon? I'm noticing that my fridge is struggling. <laughs> or maybe it's your air conditioning unit, you know, or washing machine. But I'm gonna write a fridge because, yeah. I need a new fridge. Right before all this quarantine stuff, I got my uh, hot water f hot water um, heater replaced just in time. Can you imagine one whole month without hot water? appliance are you most thankful for? Now you can't write the same thing. <laughs> so think about it. Which appliance makes you happy? I was going to write my fridge again but I already wrote that so I'm going to write my washing machine. It's been really good to me. Okay, so we've been here for a long time. Things are like really crazy and there's all kinds of news going on. But what self-care um, activity are you doing? Are you practicing? What are you doing to 
self-care. Maybe you're journaling. We're all journaling right now. Maybe you could be taking a long breath. Maybe it's skincare. Hmm. Maybe some of y'all are uh, drinking. <laughs> That's valid. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hey, coffee maker is a good one. Yeah. Dishwasher is good too. For self care, I've been taking long, long baths. My baths are legendary. I spend hours in there. Meditation is a good one. We should all be meditating. Exercising is, I guess that counts as self care. <laughs> it's for me, it's self torture. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a good one. What kind of exercises are you guys doing at home, indoors? Are you dancing? Are you on a treadmill? Maybe you have an elliptical. Maybe you're just uh, doing jogs around the house. Yoga? I've been doing some yoga. That's a good one. Okay, so... What... Calms you down. Like, there's all these crazy things happening, but let's say you read a bad news article. What would you do to calm yourself down? It could be grabbing a drink. That's totally valid. <laughs> Maybe uh, you pet your cat. Maybe you put on, you know, soft music. Maybe you journal. Maybe you meditate. But what one thing? Makes you go, ah, it's okay. I write things down. I journal. What TV show or book or uh, music album have you been listening or watching? Uh, some people are spending their time um, reading books, so what book are you been reading? Some people are watching, you know, a long TV series. Maybe it's a good time to start watching Game of Thrones. Um, I think uh, I've been watching that Tiger King <laughs> uh, documentary. I bet you've all seen it. It's on Netflix. It's hilarious. But that has been my quarantine TV show. And I love that you guys, you guys are sharing me, sharing with me your answers. Some of these are hilarious. <laughs> James has been working out by lifting, lifting a fork to his face. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, what is your um, quarantine background sound? So think about it. Maybe if you're, uh, if you're, if you have kids in the house, it could be the sound of kids playing. Maybe it could be the sound of 
this music album you've been playing or a podcast that you've been listening to? What sound has been your defining quarantine life soundtrack? Mm-hmm. I've been playing a video game called Animal Crossing and the soundtrack to that thing is just stuck in my head. So that's That's my quarantine soundtrack. Okay, next question. What is your quarantine uniform? Yeah, you know what I mean. What have you been wearing for like a week straight? Man, I bet everyone's in the red pajamas, right? But you gotta be specific. I have these pants from Uniqlo that I've been just, oh man. Lounge pants. pants and bedroom slippers mm. so you know we have a lot of time to like I'm sure you all have been going online going on YouTube you know but what new hobby sounds inspiring to you right now? You don't have to do it, but what are you looking at that's like, oh, huh, maybe I should spend my time working on that. Some people are trying to play piano again. Some people are drawing, reading more, zentangling. <laughs> what are you trying to get back into? Or what are you trying to get into? Could be something simple, Sudoku, maybe crossword puzzles. But something to get your mind off, you know, all this stuff. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Good answers. You guys have been writing, practicing violin. That's good. What item in the house? One item in the house that you're super thankful for. If you read a lot, it could be your Kindle. It could be your video game system. Maybe it's your TV. Uh, it could be a box of tissues. I'm so thankful I, I have so many tissues because my, my allergies are killing me. So I'm going to write tissues for those of you who are uh, joining us we are doing like a write with me journaling thing so grab paper pen and answer these questions with me okay now I want you guys to think about what's in your fridge Okay, so all these things are happening, we have all been buying a little extra food. What's in your fridge that needs eating? It's going back pretty soon and you gotta eat it fast. Hmm.
I have a giant tub of hummus that I need to finish before it goes bad, but I'm so sick of hummus. Hummus is fun to write. Hmm. hmm. Okay, now think about what's in your fridge again. You know, we always talk about food. <laughs> okay, so what's one thing in your fridge that you don't know what to do with? Like maybe it's a, it's a carrot and you're like, I don't know how to cook carrot. Or it's uh, some weird bread that you don't know what to make with. What ingredient that's just throwing you off? So when I went to the grocery, like a few weeks ago, of course, everything was out of stock, right? So I just grabbed collard greens. It was the only thing they had. I don't even know how to cook collard greens. It's been sitting in my fridge for like two weeks. <laughs> if you guys know what to do with uh, collard greens, send me a message. And don't give me that bacon recipe because I don't have bacon, so I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay. Now, obviously, everyone's in lockdown. We're all cooking. You know, we're all getting our skills back. Let's say you're just tired. You just don't wanna. You just don't wanna cook. But you gotta make something. What's a lazy dinner? Um, ramen, instant noodles. Don't feel like chopping anything up. I'm gonna make instant noodles. Boiled water. <laughs> oh, KFC. Yeah. Oh, KFC. Okay. Now. Now let's say you feel fired up one day, and you're like, I just wanna. I just wanna make something really good. I just wanna make something fancy, based on what. You have, okay? You can't just go out and get something. You gotta make this by yourself from stuff in your fridge. What would you make? A fancy dinner. Hmm. Based on what I have in my fridge, which is not a lot, I could make salmon and potatoes. That's fancy, right? those of you who are uh, just joining us, we are writing out answers to some um, quarantine life questions. So grab some pen, grab some paper and write with us. Ooh, Ellen's gonna make shrimp scampi for everyone. Yeah, I want some. Mmm. Ray's making chicken curry. Yeah, I'll take some of that too. Alright, think 
about what you've been drinking a lot of this past few weeks. What is your quarantine drink? Now, it doesn't have to be alcohol. <laughs> but, um, could be tea, maybe a lot of coffee. Could be a nice cocktail at night. Whiskey. But what have you been making? lot of tea okay so we've been talking about this lockdown quarantine for a couple of weeks now for a few weeks now what's what was the first snack you bought <laughs> um, I'm quite curious so let me know your answers in the uh, in the chat room because I'm trying to I'm trying to see what was the first, what was the snacks that you bought? Hmm. You guys gonna laugh, but I bought Pocky. Is this, you know, those Asian snacks? the sticks thing that kids eat. I just want something comforting, you know. So I bought a whole bunch of Pocky. I also got a lot of potato chips. I'm gonna turn into a giant potato chip. Sarah, I'm coming over. She got cheddar potato chips, tortillas, cheese dip, salsa, clam dip. Yeah. Okay, guys, next question. What was the first snack to go? <laughs> Which was the snack that was like, boom, it's gone? Man. My potato chips went fast. It was sour cream and onion. And it didn't even last like three days. What food do you wish you could make at home? Like, you have the ingredients for it and everything, but you just don't know how to make it. Oh, it's too hard. A lot of people are baking bread, and I'm like, wow, I don't know how to bake bread. Um, I wish I knew how to make zucchini bread. I don't know how to spell zucchini. <laughs> I'm 
my boss made macarons this morning. I'm like, wow. You're spending your quarantine time very productively. Oh, beef wellingtons. Yeah, that sounds good. Hmm. Alright. Uh, okay, so with this whole lockdown thing, um, non-essential businesses are ordered to close, at least where we are. Um, what did you wish you did before all this lockdown that was non-essential, that you can do now? I mean, everything's closed. So what do you wish you did before? Hmm. A haircut. I bet everyone's going to write haircuts. But I'm telling you, I wish... I wish I got my dog groomed. What essential business are you thankful for still being open? Of course, you know, all of them, but what in particular do you think is just like, yes, you're open? My favorite grocery store. Ah oh, yes, the post office. Thank goodness. I gave up going to Costco. Man, I... I forget it. I'm <laughs> I wish I could go to Costco, but it just frightens me now. The lines are so crazy. Mm. What essential item did you wish... Do you wish you stocked up on? Now, of course, we are not... We shouldn't be like, you know, hoarding stuff, obviously. But what item do you think that you're like, man, I wish I got more of that. It could be anything, okay? It could be more potato chips, if you want. Um, it could be tomatoes or zucchinis. But what, what did you want more of? Oh, toilet paper? <laughs> Yeah, I need toilet paper. I wish I got more of it. Not a lot, but you know. By the time all this happened, they were all out. So I'm like, oh man. Oh my god, flour and yeast. They're all gone. I was gonna buy yeast to like try baking, forget it, it's all gone. I do have flour though, so I'll trade you, <laughs> Ellen, for some mm, clam dip, potato chips. <sighs> what non-essential thing do you wish you stocked up on? Potato chips are essential. But <laughs> what non-essential thing did you wish you have more of? Hmm. I wish I got more hand lotion. 
with all this hand washing, my hands are just shot. But you know, I don't want to go to the store just to buy hand hand cream. That's just weird. Okay, now, now let's imagine you're at your favorite store, okay? It could be a big box store, it could be Target or Walmart or anything, anything you like, Home Depot. And you are given permission to buy five of one thing. What would you, what would you get? Five of a single thing. It could be five giant toilet papers or five bags of potato chips five hand lotions what do you want hmm I was gonna say potato chips, but man, I gotta stop eating potato chips. I want, yes, five bottles of Riesling. <laughs> yeah, five bottles of, uh, maybe not Riesling, Cabernet, five caps. Good idea. I don't even care where you're from. I need wine. Okay. Um, what non-essential business do you wish is still open? Now, of course, you know, um, we're all supposed to stay away from people, but what do you wish you could just go in real quick? <laughs> could be a gym for some people. I kind of miss my gym. Maybe for some of you who have kids, you wish your daycare is open. Uh, maybe you wish, you know, your fountain pen store is open. <laughs> hmm. I wish my arcade was still open. I mean, I wouldn't go, but... Oh, daycare is essential. That's great. Oh, thank God. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. What non-essential business that is local to you are you concerned about? So, you know, uh, there's a lot of businesses that are struggling right now. I mean, maybe you are a business owner or you're working for a small business that it's not doing too good right now so what small business are you worried about that you hope will pull through all this crazy stuff I'm very worried about my uh, my yarn store I just bought a whole bunch of yarn from them online 
Even though I, I do not need more yarn, but just to help out. So if you're worried about some local stores, maybe just buy, you know, one or two things. <sighs> what is a small family restaurant near you? that you are concerned about and I know all of us know one or two or more and if you want you can uh, write the name of this restaurant in the chat box and tell us where they are from so maybe we can try and get the word out I want to shout out to my joint Michi ramen. I tried going, I tried ordering the other day, but they're not taking any orders, so they're closed. And I hope we are doing okay. Okay, this is gonna sound weird, but what do you miss wearing specifically? So we talked about what we've been wearing, pajamas for like weeks now. What item of clothing do you just wanna put on again? Maybe it's the special shoes that you love. Maybe it's earrings. My God, I haven't been wearing earrings for months, for, for weeks. <laughs> Maybe it's a special uh, cardigan. Mm. Mm. I've got these super cute leopard print shoes that I cannot wait to wear again. I'm so desperate that sometimes I just wear them around the house like a crazy person. Just trotting around the house in a cute leopard print shoes in my pajamas. So sick of wearing pajamas, man. Oh, or heels. Oh, man. High heels. Okay. Now, let's... Let's uh, imagine. Let's pretend somebody found a vaccine for all this stuff, right? And the whole thing is cured. Everyone's cured. Everyone's okay. The economy's back. Everyone's just hunky-dory next week <laughs> what would be the very first restaurant you'll go to hmm it could be the same restaurant that you miss but uh, what's the first place you'll go to I'm so excited just thinking about it place near me called Chengdu Taste. I'm so obsessed with them. Once all this blows over, I'm gonna go there so often they're gonna have to kick me out. They're gonna have to be like, Chin, you gotta leave. <laughs> Alright, at this place, whatever restaurant it is, or Jinky's grandmother's house, what would be the first thing you order? What would you order? Oh my god, so sick of homemade food. I would order your famous 
cumin, chicken. No, lamb. And what drink would you want to go with that? Did you want to get wine with it? You want to get a cocktail? Hmm. I would order a diet coke because this lamb is very spicy and it goes great with soft drinks. I hope they're I hope they're doing okay. Mm. Oh my god. Far and Vietnamese coffee. Yes. Then it's a Chinese cumin flavored lamb dish from Chengdu. It's so delicious. Mm. Okay, uh, what will be the first fast food place that you want to go to? Now, if you don't eat fast food, well, let's imagine maybe uh, your family wants to go to fast food. So, which fast food place would you go? And what would you order from this place? <laughs> Ray, I know, we're always talking about food, but I promise it's gonna end soon. I promise. <laughs> Whenever I go to in and out I always just get a regular cheeseburger. Why do we always talk about food? Or actually, why do I always talk about food? I gotta break this streak, man. Hmm. And what drink would you go with that? I mean, you don't really have a lot of choice in a fast food place. It's all soda, right? So, uh, I don't know, Dr. Pepper? Okay, All right, so in this, um, fantasy world where all this stuff is done, all this stuff is gone, where is the first place you would want to go to with your significant other? Your husband, your wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, date, crush, where would you take this person? My goodness, just thinking about it is like, wow, we could go out now? Uh, I want to go golfing or maybe you guys can go to a fancy restaurant mm. <clears throat> mm. now think about a good friend or a few friends 
where is the first place you would go with your friends? You guys could go maybe to your favorite uh, uh, clubbing club or uh, you know uh, your favorite bar, your favorite joint. go dancing so maybe we'll go shopping oh man okay now imagine you're with your family the whole gang everybody grandma grandkids kids babies where would you guys go that's family friendly karaoke is a good one the movies is a good one mm. miniature golf <laughs> maybe a concert outdoor concert Oh, I would take my family to Disneyland. you go alone we've taken your significant other out we've taken your friends out took your family out but now where would you go alone just by yourself quiet time maybe you would go shopping by yourself or you would go to your favorite bar have a quiet drink favorite tea shop maybe the spa oh I'm gonna write spa I can't wait to go to a spa again. I'm gonna be like, I want everything. <laughs> Massage, everything. Mm. Okay. Now, when all this blows over, what would be your first errand? You don't particularly want to do it, but you just gotta do it. What would you do? Maybe you gotta visit a dentist, you know? Maybe, like me, you gotta go groom your dog. Maybe you gotta mail a package. Oh my god, I know. I gotta go get a manicure. That's what I'm gonna do. It's my first errand. Get my nails done. Oh, I cannot wait to get my nails done. <laughs> Look at this. It's horrendous. Okay, so, you know, with all this stuff going on, everyone's just saving money, right? No one's, no one knows, knows what's going to happen. But what would be the first luxury purchase that you would make? Imagine, you know, economy is great again, you could buy anything you want. Now, luxury means different things to different people, right? So, what would it be? Would you buy a fancy handbag? Fancy shoes, perfume, video games. Hmm. You know what? I think my first luxury purchase, I'm going to go buy a bidet. <laughs> Everyone keeps talking about it. I 
I really should have gotten one like before all this happened but A fancy fountain pen, maybe? Yeah. We gotta treat ourselves, right? Okay, so we've been cooped up indoors. It's just crazy. So what outdoor thing would you want to try you don't have to like get into it but what's looking really good right now that's outdoors it could be hiking uh, cycling a marathon might sound good to you kayaking kayaking's great hmm I want to do rock climbing. <laughs> I've been doing indoor rock climbing, but now that I'm crazy, stir crazy in the house, I want to try outdoor rock climbing. Wish me luck. What outdoor activity would you want to try? Now this, it doesn't have to be a sport, but it could be like, I don't know, uh, gardening maybe? Or fishing? Is that a sport? <laughs> uh, Outdoor, what do you call this? Movies on the lawn, stuff like that. Stargazing. That would be nice. What thing do you want to do outdoors now? I want to go stargazing. Horseback riding, that's good. Skiing, yeah. I don't know. Not even a quarantine can <laughs> can get me to go skiing. <laughs> Sorry, Marilyn. <laughs> um. Okay. Once all this blows over, where do you want to visit? Any place in the world. It's right there waiting for you. Where do you want to go? I think it's time to visit mm. Oh, Switzerland. Would love to visit. I visited Switzerland once when I was very very small, so I don't rem I don't remember much about it. Okay, now, what place that is close by to you, that you actually want to go, that you, still, you just haven't been yet, so, you know, it doesn't have to be like Japan or Europe or anything, but a place that's close to home that you just haven't been yet, that you'll go after this. Hmm. 
you know, I live in Las Vegas, but the Sequoia Forest is close by, and I've always wanted to go. And I promise, once all this blows over, I will finally go. Uh, Sequoia National Park. Teen Winner wants to come to Las Vegas. <laughs> cool, come visit. Not right now, everything's closed. But once all this blows over, I don't care how busy it is in Yosemite or Sequoia Park or whatever, I'm going. Okay, um, so this whole virus stuff, you know, everyone, it sucks, but everyone's in the same boat. Um, we are, some of us are lucky enough to be able to work indoors, but some of us are not. So let's list 10 professions that we are thankful for. Ten, 10 professions that we want to say thank you for all you're doing and you got to write each of these professions three times okay same rules number
that's a lot of people. Uh, before I ask the final question, um, I hope we can take some time to uh, think about and pray for those who are sick. Hopefully they get better. And for those who uh, didn't make it. Um, and for those who are who lost, you know, people. Um, uh, so the last question is, you know, we wrote all these things down about like, it's kind of like a diary of things that we, we're, we're going through right now. So imagine you kept this thing for like five, ten years. Okay, so let's say in the year 2030, somebody finds this, uh, these answers. <laughs> and they're like, wow, it's way back from that crazy year 2020. Your last question is, what would you want to say to this person who is reading from the future? Now, it doesn't have to be all insightful or inspirational thing. It could be a Bible verse if you want, if you find comfort in that. It could be a, a motto. Or it could be something like a, a memory that you want to share or something good that happened to you that you want this person to read. Um, yeah, so anything that you want your future self or future whoever to know about this time write it down okay uh I, i'll be thinking with you but then i will close the stream but before i do that i just want to say thanks for joining me and um wash your hands <laughs> and we'll get through this and if you're sick i hope you get better and you know things will look up
Thank <laughs> you.